You're a Connecticut guy. I lived in uh, in Southington. Where where whereabouts? I'm from Madison, so we're on the shore. Yeah, 25 minutes east of, or south of New Haven. New Haven. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Um, why were the Dolphins the right fit for you now? Um, you know, just after talking about with my agent and whatnot and, and all the options, just, you know, looking at the offense, um, you know, it's something that I feel like I, you know, benefits my skill set um, and just seeing the way that, you know, Coach McDaniels and this organization is run and, um, you know, just all that taking into consideration. I thought it was my best opportunity and I'm just really excited to be here. So which exact spots on the offensive line have you played in the NFL and which spots did you play in college? So in college, I played right tackle. And in the NFL, I've started games at right guard, right tackle, left tackle. And in practice, I've played all five. So, um, yeah, just, you know, whatever position that I'm asked to play, just go out there, do my best, and, you know, just compete. You know, more than anything, just compete. It's kind of obvious, but how does the versatility increase your chances of being dressed on game day? Yeah, and just as you guys know, is, you know, when, you know, normally it's five, eight guys are dressed and five are starting. So if you do the math there, then, you know, some guys got to play multiple positions. So just, you know, I always kind of took that upon myself as more positions I could play, you know, the better chance I have to play on game day and the better chance I have of making the team and, you know, being an important role. Nice to meet you. I appreciate it. Adam? Uh, hey, it's Adam Beasley of Pro Football Network. How well or at all do you know Butch Berry? Uh, and uh, what do you know about him if you don't know him particularly well? Yeah, and you're just kind of getting to know him today. Um, you know, sat down talking for a while, and he seems like, you know, great coach, uh, great person. I'm excited to start, you know, talking technique with him and talking scheme. Um, you know, just really feel like he's a great coach, and I'm excited to get to play for him. Could you, follow up by could you give us a scouting report on you as a player? Sorry, what would you say? Could you give us a scouting report of you as a player? Uh yeah, um, you know, like I said, I you know, try to pride myself on uh, using my athleticism to my advantage and, you know, being versatile and, you know, being able to play any position on the O-line is something I take pride in um, just because, like, you know, the previous question, just, you know, giving yourself that much more value for the team and whatnot. And, um, you know, yeah. Thanks. Hal? Hal, we can't hear you. It says you're unmuted, though. Nope, still struggling. How Why about now? Work? Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. That was my fault. Yeah. Of course, there. Jack Hal Habit from the Palm Beach Post. Welcome. Thank you. Um, now that you may or may not have a different view of this uh, question, should they ban the tush push? Ah, it's a great question. No, I mean, those guys, you know, they, you know, a lot of, there's a lot more that goes into it than I think meets the eye. And those guys up front on the Eagles do a great job. And, you know, Jalen spearheads it with being able to squat 600 pounds. So I don't think they're going to ban it. Um, no, yeah. Do you have any secrets you can bring from Philly to help uh, Miami dominate on that play? I can't disclose right now. I'll say that. <laughs> maybe, maybe at a later meeting. Uh, okay, changing gears real quick. I read that you're a card collector. Any cards of dolphin folks that are prized in your collection? Uh, I don't know if I have any dolphins players prized in my collection. I kind of collect everything from, you know, I grew up collecting cards. Um, somebody's, you know, it's a hobby of mine. Um, so I don't think I have any dolphins players, but I might have to change that. You know, some of the old school guys. You know, I grew up. One of my favorite players was Dwight Stevenson. You know, my dad used to tell me about him. So. Um, yeah, we got to start. It's there. He's one of the best of all time. Never wear a Dolphins uniform. So, thank you, Perk. Hey, Jack. Chris Perkins from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I got kind of a strange question to ask you. Uh, you're, you're six five and you play inside. Um, I, I'm wondering how you get leverage uh, at, at, at that height. And, and, and the Dolphins, you know, Robert Robert um, uh, Hunt was 6'4", was 6'5", six, six, Liam Eichenberg, a converted offensive tackle also. Is the job more difficult for a tall guy inside? Um, yeah, I think, you know, there's strengths, you know, there's pros and cons. You know, like you said, you definitely, when you're taller and you're playing against some of those shorter 6'2", 6'2 and a half, 6'3", defensive uh, tackles, who are kind of a bit like fire hydrants, you know, just being able to get low. And that's something too that I really try to work a lot on is like flexibility because, you know, the old age, old saying that low man wins. 
they like, you know, has held true since the beginning of time in football. So just really be able to use my leverage and also understand that because I'm taller, you know, I have longer, you know, I might have longer arms, so I can use that to my advantage. But um, yeah, just really, it's something I focus on. It's something I train a lot for just understanding that when you do kick inside, it's a different, it's a different game. And, and just as a casual observation, it seems to me that the game has changed in that respect over, I don't know, the last decade or something. Do you think that that's true? Have, I mean, do you, do you have any insight that, that six, five guys, it, that it seems like it's more common on the inside nowadays. Yeah, no, I feel like you, like you said it used to be, you know, six, two, six, three guard. And after that you were a tackle, but um, yeah, I feel like too, you know, as offenses are more pass heavy now in today's game, you know, being able to pass block at tackle bodes well for guard. Um, just being able to, you know, use your athleticism and whatnot. And um, I just feel like, too, no matter what height you are, if you, you know, if you use the technique properly and you use leverage properly, then you can have success no matter where you play on the O-line. All right. Thanks, Jack. Alan? Uh, hi, Jack. Alan Pupar with AllDolphins.com. Welcome to South Florida. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, my question to you is in your conversations with the Dolphins, did they sort of lay out a vision for how they wanted to use you since you have experience at both guard and tackle? Yeah, you know, kind of just talked about it, you know, briefly, just, you know, be ready to compete for everything, you know, um, just, you know, use your versatility. They know I can play a lot of different positions, but, um, you know, not super specific, but just like I said, you know, being able to play all five is my goal. And, um, yeah, and just like I said, compete for everything, you know.